Thanks, Alex. Have a good afternoon. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Paul. And it was rocking down there at the Amex during the Euros. So positivity down there at the Amex and a positive start at the cottage last week for Fulham. Their skipper, Tom Carney. Carney? I'm thinking of Karen Carney right there, <laughs> talking about the Euros. Tom Kearney came back from a 10-month layoff to lead his team to promotion last season. He talks us through what's inspired his career so far. First of all, Tom, thanks for speaking to me. How are you? I'm good, thank you. And you? I'm um, not too bad. <laughs> not long to go. Yeah. Talk me through the emotions of the last 12 months. Yeah, first of all, just playing again was just a good feeling. Or training again and like feeling like a footballer because 10 months not playing is a long time. And then after Christmas, you realise you've got a big chance of getting automatic promotion and you're being a part of that, being a part of the squad. And... Your missus is pregnant as well, so it's like you know the due dates around the end of the season. So you're like, come on, I can have promotion and a promotion present. Oh, oh, very good. So we got promoted, and then a few days later, I had the baby. What kind of birthing partner were you? I, I was very good. I think I was good. <laughs> she might, she might say. Actually, the hospital was on Fulham Road, and there was a lot of nice coffee shops and restaurants. So I did disappear for a little bit, sometimes too much. And I got a text saying, where the hell are you? We're rolling, we've got... Yeah, no, it's fine, you can play it, you can play it, so you'll understand. Are you little boys into football? They will be. <laughs> Project Mbappe. <laughs> no pressure, but, like, obviously, I want to just, like, go to games with them or... Yeah. I mean, watch, watch games with them and eat fish and chips on the way home or whatever. I want to get to the nitty-gritty. I want to know why you first got into football. Was it I was about tiny. Well, the pictures that my mum and dad have got, I was like 18 months, two, two years old, kicking a ball. 18 months? My dad is obsessed with football. My, actually, to be honest, my mum's obsessed with football, so like, I was always around it and had the drugs since I was little, yeah. <laughs> and who was your first footballing hero? Original Ronaldo, I'd say. Brazilian Ronaldo? Yeah, the original like Ronaldo. Brazilian. So like Are you actually answer. Brazilian? Yeah. So I'd say, do you know, like the 98 World Cup? Yes. So I was, so I was seven. And I had the yellow kit. Did you? Yes, I had the yellow <gasps> kit. Yes! And who in the world of football do you think was most influential? The youth team coaches helped me a lot mentally because I got released at 16 by Leeds and I went to Hull. So, like, that was a hard time to get released at 16. Mm. It's hard. So, I think that the next two years, like, you either go one way or the other. So, I think the coaches in that period from 16 to 18 kind of. Yeah, picked me up and, do you know what I mean? Didn't let, didn't let yeah. me be too down, let go. And then two and a half years later, I made my debut in the Premier League. That's how crazy it is. What does Fulham mean to you? It means a hell of a lot because this is my eighth season at Fulham in football years. I think it's a bit like dog years. That was like 50 years, 60 years. I don't know how many dog years it is. It's a long time. It is a long time. Do you know what I mean? Time. In football, eight years is a long, long time. So I've built my life here. I've had two kids here. Yeah. Promotions, relegations, ups, downs. Stressful. What's been the biggest setback? I'd say injury because I feel like the Premier League has not gone to planning for me or Fulham. And I feel like injuries affected that. So this is my third time. So I feel like hopefully this season, such would like it goes to plan a bit more. What is the one dream that you've got for the rest of your career? I think a dream would be to win, a, like, a cup. A domestic cup. Like, you have to, have to get very lucky, obviously. Because I think Man City have won the Carabao Cup for, like, 19 years in a row. But you know what I mean? I feel like that's a, a dream to have. Like, why not? And why do you love football so much? It's all I've thought about since, or like, being a baby. Or like every single day. Everything to do with football I love. I'm not really good at anything else. I'll probably try and stay in it after I finish as well. In some sort of way. I'm, I'm not everyone's like me, but I love football. <laughs>